everyone this is Rachelle thanks for clicking on my video so I know by now you guys have all heard the news Nancy Pelosi has finally announced a formal impeachment inquiry into Donald Trump over this Ukraine sc scandal now y'all apparently they have been investigating this fool for about a month now it all came to a head when 45 tried to get the Ukraine president to go after Joe Biden. So basically what Nancy Pelosi said after she found out, you know, after this investigation is no person is above the law and that he seriously violated the Constitution and not only that, his oath of office. So what happened is back in August, a whistleblower filed a complaint and it was because he had concerns over a call that he had witnessed between 45 and Ukraine's president. Now, now get into this y'all. The Ukraine president was on the line with 45 because he was trying to shore up some financing that Congress has set aside for his country. So he needed to talk to Trump about that financing. Now, Trump, being the old mobster that he thinks he is, said something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. The money is there. It's there. But I'm going to need you to do something for me first, partner. I need you to do me a favor. So think about the position that that put Ukraine's president in. Here he is on the phone trying to shore up financing for his country and he's being asked to do a favor to get it. Kind of, kind of like quid pro quo. So 45 asked him several times, y'all. They said he asked them about eight times to investigate Joe Biden and Joe Biden's son. Y'all, if this man ain't corrupt and everything is a, a deal to him and everything is, you know, grimy when it comes to him, it, it it's crazy that our president, the man who is supposed to be leading our country, is in and out of these kind of situations all the time you know this is basically what they accused him of with russia now y'all after asking you know the ukraine president all these times you know do me this and i'll do you that keep in mind there's a side note that money that congress set aside for ukraine it was held up now backtrack trump said do me a favor and pretty much i'll do this for you so basically what happened is the ukraine money was held up and the pentagon was wondering you know we had this money set aside it was you know said to be for them we're wondering why the money wasn't given to them now we may know why the money wasn't given to them because Ukraine wouldn't agree to investigate Joe Biden. Now, y'all, what really brought this to a head is basically uh, Senator Elijah Cummins, who is a very good friend of Nancy Pelosi, went on the floor of the House and he gave this speech. And he's saying in his speech, you know what? We had the whole Russia investigation that went on for a while. All of it was about, you know, him in cahoots with Russia to try to get elected. Now, y'all know the next election is in 2020. So he done started his mess again. He is trying to find a way, any kind of way to get an unfair advantage. And I guess what he came up with is because, you know, Joe Biden is running. Let's bring him down with some type of scandal now for what i'm understanding there's no there there when it comes to joe biden and his son and ukraine but 
what Elijah Cummins did is he went to the floor and he he argued that point. Look, enough is enough. We have sat back and watched this man operate for the last couple years. He is corrupt. It's one scandal after another, and I'm tired of it. Something needs to be done. Now, y'all, Nancy Pelosi and Elijah Cummins go way back. Nancy Pelosi has a lot of respect for Elijah Cummins, and so do the people in the House and the Senate. So when he finally just went out on the floor and put it all out there in that speech, it forced Nancy Pelosi's hand because y'all know she's been stalling, which I don't know why, with this impeachment thing. So after Elijah Cummins did that, Nancy Pelosi was forced to come out and say, okay, okay, enough is enough. And now we're going to start the impeachment process. Now, y'all, at this point, it's just an inquiry. So basically, they're going to be doing their investigation, gathering all their information, and then they're going to make a decision on whether to go forward. But the reason why I wanted to do this video is because we have all been waiting on this. Washington has become so much more corrupt under this man. And I'm glad that finally, you know, they are taking some steps. Now, do I believe that he is going to be impeached? I don't know, y'all. He only got a year until 2020. And, you know, shit can drag out. And maybe by the time it all comes to a head, it'll be time for us to vote next 2020, you know, next November. So... What I'm hoping is that this is speedy, they get his butt out of office, and he does not get to serve another term. Because, y'all, in the last couple years, we have been through ups and downs on a daily basis messing with him and his administration. I was so happy. I was on YouTube, y'all, and then I got a pop-up saying something about impeachment. I almost broke a nail trying to click on the U.S., uh, well, I forget which website that I got the, you know, the pop up from, but I almost broke my damn nail trying to click on the link to see exactly what was going on. Y'all, this is the end of my video, but I wanted to know what y'all thought of it. Um, are you ready for this to be over? Do you actually think that, you know, he is going to be impeached? Do you think the whistleblower really has the goods on him? Y'all, from what I'm watching on the news... It seems like he does. They have released the transcript and basically it is very damning and very incriminating um, against Trump. So we will see. Leave it down in the comments what you think. And as always, y'all, thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye now.